Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well. Today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is providence. Providence. Oh, just to think about the providence of God. Now there's times where we're asking and begging and praying for deliverance from whatever trial we're, we're going through, whatever we're facing. And it, it's similar with David. We find him, you know, being pursued by Saul and he, he's running scared for his life. But he's still trusting the Lord, still praying and, and seeking him. Whereas we talked about Saul is seeking only to do his own will. But it, it's really something special to see that in all, basically in all the caves, in all the area that they were in, all this wilderness area that they were in, that Saul was to actually stumble upon the same cave that David and his men were in. Now, they were further back in the cave and Saul never saw them. It's actually kind of funny that Saul went in for a bathroom break. And then we'll pick up right after that. For what we see that David's men, I pray that you're reading all of this passage uh, again here, because we're going to look at two verses, one verse four, and then verse 19 in chapter 24. But it, I want you to really see how the men around David also influence him as well. This is kind of comparing to what we saw yesterday as Saul was seeking uh, help. So today, 1 Samuel chapter 24, verses 4, and then on to verse 19, says, Then the men of David said to him, This is the day of which the Lord said to you, Behold, I will deliver your enemy into your hand, that you may do to him as it seems good to you. And David arose and secretly cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Now, Saul had no idea this was going on. As he exits, then David shouts out. They have a conversation. And this is what Saul says back to him. He says "For in verse 19, For if a man finds his enemy, will he let him get away safely? Therefore, may the Lord reward you with good for what you have done to me this day. Now you say, okay, well, that didn't have anything to do with prayer. Well, to me, really, it's you look at the beginning of it. Isn't that more of an answer to a prayer? That David's praying to be delivered and even uh, wrote a psalm about his whole encounter here being pursued by Saul. And the thing about it is he comes out, he's listening to the influence of the men around him. Um, you know, really just who knows exactly what encounter or what word they're claiming from the Lord that, hey, this is the day he said he was going to be delivered into your hands. But to think that at that moment he could have killed Saul. And he goes and he just decides to just cut a piece of his robe off to prove that he could have killed him if he wanted to. But then you know that he has a heart after God because David is remorseful for even doing that. That he has disrespected and dishonored the king. Even uh, cutting his robe like that would have dishonored the king. And it's as if he realizes after he'd done that and as Saul is going on that he was going about it the wrong way. That in that moment, he had been praying all up until that point, And then he got faced with the opportunity with Saul and he moved ahead of God a little bit. As he started to take things in his own hands. And I think he called himself and said, no, I can't do that. I can't move ahead because God has already told me that I will be king. But he didn't tell me that I had to kill Saul to get there. And I think this is where God steps in and moves in his heart. But see, he doesn't just move in his heart. He moves in the heart of Saul. Now, we'll have to wait and see how long that lasts. But he says, you know what? Saul, in his response, is saying, David, I, I, I don't know who else would do that. How else could you do that? So may the, he says, may the Lord reward you. Now, yesterday I talked about him calling out, you know, basically blessings, uh, uh, talking about blessings on the enemy that was helping. But I think here was a little bit more sincere mention of God. I believe it really was, you know, almost an earnest prayer of Saul that the Lord would reward David because he just spared his life. Isn't it amazing how the turn of events will change our hearts? I think this turn of events right here, it changes Saul's heart towards David. But I think even more than that, it changed David's heart towards Saul. 
that the enemy that was chasing him all this time, he realized that God had already told him he was going to be king. All he needed to do was move forward in obedience and trust the providence of God. So I don't know what you may be facing right now. It's easy to when we're faced with those conflicts and when our enemy is like really right there at the front of the cave. It's easy to think we've got to rush it and fight our way out. But sometimes all we need to do is be patient and trust the providence of God. Spending time in prayer is the best way to be informed of the providence of God and to rely on it as well. God bless you all, and I pray you have a great, great day.